Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five Glitch in the Matrix TikToks. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We love spooky Sundays around here. And other than that, let's just get right on into the video. First TikTok is from the user PG Stories Official. Now this is a repost account, so the video is someone else's. I can't find the original user. We have another case of duplicating objects. I just experienced my first glitch in the matrix. I found these in the passenger door yesterday after looking for three days for these motherfuckers. Finally found them yesterday morning, wore them all day. I just opened my passenger door and I found these in the same fucking place. I've never bought two in my life. They're the exact same pair of glasses. The only time I've ever bought another pair is when one has been broken and they're both not broken. So where the fuck has this come from? So in the video, she says that she originally lost her sunglasses. They were missing for three days before she found them in the passenger side door. She wears them all day long and then goes to open up the passenger side door and finds the exact same pair of sunglasses in the door. She's been wearing the same ones all day long. She swears that she does not have two. She says that she's rebought them when they've broken before, but she's never had two fully functioning ones at the exact same time. So this is completely impossible. Not to mention the fact that she literally found the other pair in the door earlier that day. I'm sure she would have noticed if there was a second pair there that morning. So where did it come from? Honestly, the version of her in another dimension is probably just missing her sunglasses because I don't understand how, like, you could be so aware of, like, finding your missing sunglasses in the passenger side door and then them reappearing the same day. How does that happen? I think I said this in a previous Glitch in the Matrix video. Literally my only other explanation for these duplication glitches is that, you know, like, in this case, she lost them. So maybe a friend was like, you know, trying to be nice and bought her another pair to replace the lost ones and like got their wires crossed or something. I don't know. Like someone was like doing a nice prank. I don't, I, I really don't understand, honestly. And I also don't understand why this never happens to me. Like, come on. Why can't I have my favorite things duplicate? The next TikTok is from the user Haunted TikToker. And this girl loses her car in the parking garage. Okay, I'm gonna freak the fuck out in two seconds. Two fucking seconds. Okay, I parked on floor fucking five, okay? I could have swore I parked like in one of these now. And then I like did my little key thing. All my shit's over there. Actually, I don't know where I left it. Great. Anyway, my car is right fucking here, okay? Brady is right here, down, okay? So this is up, this is up. So if I just kept going and took a little turn over there, you go up and it's there. So you would assume this means down, right? Okay, don't move, Brady, don't move. So I'm going down. I'm going down. You will not believe how many times I've gone up and down this fucking floor, okay? We're going down. I'm sprinting now, okay, watch. Because look, look what happens. Look what happens. Where? Where are the cars? Where's my fucking car? Where is he? She is walking through a parking garage and she shows us through those like wire gate thingies that you can see her car is on what appears to be the floor directly below because it's just a little bit offset. She shows us that if you go that direction, it goes up and around. So you would assume that the other direction would go down to where her car is, right? Well, not exactly, because she runs down to where you'd think her car would be, but her car's not there. There's actually like no cars parked there at all, when in the first clip we see that there's a lot of cars parked next to her car. So the question is, how does she get to her car? Like, where is her car? Parking garages stress me out so much. They are so confusing. I'm always like, taking pictures of like the signs and like the general area where I'm parked because otherwise I will never find my car again. At that point, I literally would just hop over the gate onto my car roof because I'm not wandering the parking garage for hours. It doesn't appear that there's any resolution to this because this is again a repost TikTok account. The next TikTok is from the user Danny Tilla 
and her AirPods disappear and then magically reappear. I cannot even go into Costco right now because I am so uh, freaked out but excited. I am gonna try to make this as short as possible. I don't even care that the lighting is god awful right now. I'm in a Costco parking lot. This is the uh, simultaneously the coolest and the strangest and freakiest thing that has ever happened to me. Saturday night, I lost my AirPods. Um, I realized it Sunday midday when I went shopping immediately opened up the find my app and last time they had connected was 8 24 p.m at the restaurant my husband and i were at the night before naturally you hit directions and it takes you straight there they were not there i said shit i lost 250 dollars airpod pros so immediately called my husband freaking out he said if they happen to be lost we will get you new ones let's try to find them we tore everything apart cars purses house gym bags everything obviously they are 250 dollars airpod pros we are not just going to say oh darn they're gone because they were not in one location and go out and buy a new pair we are not rich unfortunately we cannot afford that so obviously my purse was one of the first things that we looked through. My purse is not big. It is this big. This is my purse. It is teeny freaking tiny. Everything was taken out of it. The last three days, because I have not had AirPods, I have been using an old pair of headphones. I just went to get these headphones because I'm going into Costco and I hate not having headphones when I go into a store. And on top of my purse, like they were never gone, my AirPod Pros. She says she realizes on a Sunday that she has lost her AirPods. She doesn't know where they are, so she opens the Find My app, and it says that she left them at the restaurant she was at the night before. She goes to the restaurant, and the AirPods are not there. So she thinks that she has lost them for good. She says that she tears everything apart searching for them. Their house, the car, gym bags, her purse. She says she shows her purse, which is like, relatively small and she says that they took everything out of her purse and searched it and they were not in there to the point where she ended up getting a like old wired pair of headphones to take with her to the grocery store that night she gets to the grocery store and she reaches in her purse and her airpods are sitting at the top keep in mind she already searched through her purse like took everything out of her purse and they were not there. And her husband was there helping her search. Neither of them found her AirPods in her purse. But yet, they're back in her purse somehow. Where did they go in the meantime? That's always a thing. I lose something and then I find it after I swore I already checked where I eventually found them at. So I'm like, where do these things disappear to? Like the only logical explanation for me is that they end up in Gort's house from Halloween Town and then somehow magically poof themselves back to where they belong. Cause seriously, like where does my stuff keep going to? Like where did her AirPods go to for like the day she was missing them? In the caption, she says that her husband is just as confused as she is. Meaning it wasn't a situation of him surprising her with AirPods and playing a prank like, oh, haha, ha, like you found them. Like, no, her husband is also confused. Where did they go? How did they just come back like that? Make it make sense. Our fourth TikTok of the video is also brought to you by the account PG Stories Official. And we can see this lady's reflection from a parallel universe. In the reflection, she seems to take a look toward the man in the video but her actual body seems to remain completely still. In the video, we see a man with his hand leaning up against the Vietnam War Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. In the background, we see a woman standing behind him. We can also see her reflection on the wall. She's just standing there, but all of a sudden, we can see her reflection. Her head turns to the side to look at the man. However, her real life body does not move, does not look at him, but her reflection does. It's a very, very short clip, but honestly, it gives me the chills. I don't even know how that's possible. That is just so creepy that her reflection is doing something that she is not. Like, it's, it's not even her reflection at that point. It's, it's like looking into a parallel universe. Unless that is edited, I honestly have no other explanation for how that could be happening. That is just mind-blowingly creepy to me. To be honest, if that is an evidence of a parallel universe or multiple dimensions, I really don't know what is. Our final TikTok is by the user Cats Up with Doug, and he believes a town in Utah could be proof of a simulation. 
I don't necessarily believe we live in a simulation, but after visiting Bluff, Utah, I can't rule it out as a possibility. We got to the hotel. It was a portable building. Like when your elementary school got too small for all the kids in it and they put extra buildings out back for the teachers they didn't like, that was our hotel room. But that doesn't prove anything. It didn't even make me start thinking weird. But it's what the front desk lady said that everyone else in town said to me too that got me wondering. We went to the little market and we got a variety of things, candy bars, some stuff to make sandwiches, drinks, bread. We got back to the room, we noticed everything had expired two weeks earlier. And those things don't have the same shelf life, like bread and Coca-Cola and a candy bar all expiring two weeks earlier at the same time. And when we tried to check out, the lady at the counter said the same phrase that the hotel clerk said. Went to the one restaurant we found in town and the waitress, we'd ask her questions like, hey, can we get pickles with that sandwich? She would say, I don't know. It's my first day working here. We went to the cashier. I asked her if I could add a tip onto the bill, she said, I don't know, it's my first day working here. I tried to check out with all my expired food at the market, the credit card didn't work, and the lady's like, oh, I don't know what's going on, it's my first day working here. The front desk lady at the portable building of a hotel took over an hour to find our reservation because she didn't know how to work the computer because it was her first day working there. I'm just saying, if we are living in a simulation, I think no one had traveled to Bluff, Utah in a few years and it hadn't been rendered in a while. When they saw me coming, they just rendered it real fast and um, nothing quite worked. Okay, so this guy, Doug, goes on a trip to Bluff, Utah. He says that his hotel is like one of those little portable building things that they like give to elementary schools when they need overflow. That was his hotel room. It wasn't like an actual brick and mortar building. He says that that wasn't the weirdest part though. The next weirdest thing was he went to the market to get some stuff for sandwiches, snacks, whatever. And he realizes that everything expired two weeks prior. Like all this different stuff that like has different shelf lives, obviously like, you know, a candy bar has a longer shelf life than lunch meat. All of this random stuff that has different lengths of their shelf life somehow all managed to expire like exactly two weeks prior at the same time. That's kind of a weird coincidence. But that's not even the weirdest thing. He says the weirdest thing is what all of the people he came in contact with said to him. He went to a diner to eat. They would ask the waitress normal questions and she would always respond with, I don't know, it's my first day working here. When he went to go pay the bill at the front, he asked if he could put a tip on it. And the cashier lady says, I don't know, it's my first day working here. He says he has issues with his credit card when he's buying the expired goods at the market. And the cashier lady says, I don't know what's happening, I'm so sorry, it's my first day working here. And the hotel lady, the one who was pulling up the reservation, he said it took her over an hour to find the reservation and she apologized because it was her first day working there. That is such a strange coincidence, if it's just a coincidence, that all of these people in this very small town just started working their jobs the exact same day. Like, what are the chances of that happening? I don't think that's very likely. Honestly, he says that it's like no one had traveled to Bluff, Utah in a while and the simulation didn't quite have a chance to finish rendering and updating for his visit because that is crazy. I mean, all of those things on their own obviously wouldn't raise any red flags, but just the fact that it's, you know, like kind of run down, everything expired exactly two weeks prior, every person he came in contact had just started working that day so they couldn't figure things out, what are the odds? Did everyone just start working that day because they knew they finally have a guest coming into town? Some places like Utah, Wyoming, I feel like they are proof of a simulation because I never once in my life have I ever heard of someone living in Wyoming. I don't believe that it's actually real. And honestly, Utah in itself doesn't seem like a real state either. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Spooky Sundays. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.